Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. Guys, today I create really cool jiggle text animation in Cinema 4D. So firstly, guys, I go to More Graph and use More Text. Guys, go on Object and I type my channel name and Alignment Take Middle. Guys, change also font. Font I use bold and some cartoonist like this. Yeah, this is better. And now, guys, I increase depth. Depth I take 100 cm. After that, guys, I go to display and select God shading lines. Great. And I increase subdivision. Subdivision I take 10. And intermediate points I take subdivided. Guys, go on caps and start caps take fillet. And end caps take fillet. And guys, step I take 5 and all 5 cm. Okay, guys, go on type. I use quad angles and regular grid check. And breadth size, I take 5 cm. Guys, this is my simple text. And now select this more text and make editable. Click here. Guys, again select this more text and right click, select children. One more time, right click, connect object plus delete. That's it, guys. Okay. After that guys, I go to more graph and use fracture, this one and select this fracture and change mode. Guys mode, I take this one last one, explode segment and connect and guys select this more text and connect with fracture and guys after that I take jiggle tool, this one. So select this jiggle and connect with more text. That's it guys. Okay, so I increase frame, frame like 300 and pull, guys select this jiggle and go on object, guys I create strength animation, strength animation, so go on 30 frames and strength check and strength I take 0 and check, guys go to 30 frame and strength I take 0%. And now I go to 100%, actually 100 frames and strength I take 100% and press this animation key. That's it. Okay, so stiffness I take like 1 and structural I take randomly 15. Right? Okay, guys, this is not animate. Yeah, this is not animate. So select, guys, now go on simulate here particles and I take turbulence guys select this turbulence and change strength scale size strength like 300 and scale I take 30% guys randomly so go on jiggle and force select guys jiggle and I take force select this turbulence drag and drop in force and go on back and play Yeah, see guys, now this is animate. Right, it's really cool. Okay, so guys, stop this animation. Stop, go on back. Guys, select this fracture. And again, I go to more graph effector and I take plane. So, guys, select this plane and I go to parameter, position uncheck and scale size check and ununiform check. Guys, scale size I take minus one and I go to effector. Guys, I create strength animation. So, now I go to like 150, I go to 150 frames and strength I take zero and press this strength animation key. And I go to 200 and stand I take 100% and check yeah that's it guys so go on back and play see guys this really cool and after 150 frame strength change yeah great right guys one more time play
yeah nice okay so stop guys my first animation is finished so i take null object and select all guys not turbulence and make child with null and rename this null type my channel name yeah guys hide this first animation and i create second text animation so i go to more graph and use more text go on object guys this time i type tutorial and alignment take middle font guys same same this one and increase same depth i take 100 guys subdivision take 10 intermediate subdivided and i go to caps start caps take fill it and caps take fill it and step 5 radius 5 step 5 and radius 5 and type i take quad angles and regular grid check guys same breadth size i take 5 centimeter yeah okay so guys select this more text and make editable click and right click on more text select children one more time right click connect object plus delete okay so guys i take jiggle so select this jiggle and connect with more text this one and guys go on force select jiggle and go to force select this turbulence drag and drop in force right go on object and guys i create this strength animation so this time i go to like 200 frames 200 and strength check guys strength take 100 percent and i go to like guys i go to 260 frame and strength i take zero percent and check okay so go on back and play yeah great but guys this is not looking so good so stop guys i take same fracture this one select fracture and mode explode segment and connect last one select this more text and connect with fracture guys select this fracture and same last i take plane and select this plane parameter position uncheck and scale size check a new uniform check scale take minus one yeah and i go to effector guys i create same strength animation so guys i go to like 150 frame 150 and strength check and i go to like 200 frames and strength i take zero zero and check yeah okay so guys select this fracture effector and go to connect with plane so now uncheck all go on back and play guys see this is my final animation See guys, this is my final animation. It's really looking good. So guys, again, I take null object, select all and make child with connect and rename this null tutorial. That's it. Okay. So guys, now I apply material, go on content browser, take presets. Guys, this is my some carpet texture. I apply this one apply apply on more text select and project i take cubic yes cubic okay guys i use my cinema 4d studio light so go on file and merge select and open 
guys this is my flow and background little bit down and this is my small chop box go on back overhead chop box go on mid yeah that's it guys right and go on here guys i take camera camera check guys select camera and go on here and camera press this animation key and i go to like 200 frames go on back here and check yeah that's it guys see guys this is my text animation jiggle text animation second thing i create this camera movement animation okay so my animation is finished i go to render setting here guys i take simple and best render setting mb occlusion maximum sam 1 to 8 accuracy i take 100 percent and i take global illumination medium is good and in direct catch i take low and anti select best and guys this is my format i take jpeg sequences and output i use full hd frame this one and frame range use all that's it guys this is my render setting so close so guys my render is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you